Less than an hour, the Farmington School District will be holding a public meeting to talk about possible school closings. Declining enrollment is forcing the district to make some hard choices to save some money. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chiquette joins us live with more on their plan. Simon? Stephen and Carolyn, Hard Choices is exactly right. Take a look behind me right here at the auditorium. Parents and students will be arriving to have their voices heard. Harrison is one of six schools in the Farmington Public School District that could possibly close or be repurposed due to changing enrollment and financial considerations. We expect to hear from a lot of folks who feel very passionately about this school's academics and nationally renowned athletics, particularly their football programs, won numerous championships. The other schools are Beachview Elementary, High Meadow Common Campus, Kenbrook Elementary, Warner Upper Elementary, and Duncan Middle School. The district could also relocate their central offices, their transportation center, and other facilities. Now, today is the first of four public community input forums, and they are planning on getting a ton of feedback from people. I'm here with Superintendent. George Heitch, tell us about the goal of tonight. Well, the goal tonight is to listen, to hear from the community about what their hopes and dreams are for the future of Farmington Public Schools and to help us kind of direct this next phase of implementation that we have to go through. Of course, you anticipate some people are going to be very unhappy with change that could be coming and how are you prepared to deal with them? Well, we, we expect passion. We expect people that are uh, in love with their school and want to express that with us. Uh, but we also understand this is a great community that will behave with wonderful civility and will have community dialogue around these issues. How do you sell it to someone that things will be better if you have to reorganize? Well, long term, things will be better because it will be a more efficient, more effective educational unit. When you're spending money on capacity that you don't need, those are resources that aren't going towards kids and teachers that deserve them. Thank you for talking with us, Superintendent. Of course, we will stay out here and bring you this story live tonight. Again, the meeting begins at 7 p.m. Live in Farmington Hills, Simon Shaykett, 7 Action News, back to you. All right, we'll update that story tonight at 11 o'clock. Simon, thank you.